recognized. Thank you very much. I want to point out this is fentanyl poisoning, and because people use illicit drugs, they certainly don't deserve to die from it. Mr. Speaker, I rise in strong support of the HALT Fentanyl Act. In 2022, roughly 75,000 Americans died from poisoning by synthetic opioids, largely illicit fentanyl or fentanyl-related substances. Illicit fentanyl poisonings are now the number one cause of death among adults age 18 to 49, as has been pointed out many times. The people who have died from illicit fentanyl poisoning are not just statistics. They're someone's child, sibling, parent, family member, or close friend. And it's happening in every community across America. It doesn't discriminate socioeconomic class, race, religion. Just last week, a federal grand jury indicted a man in Evansville, Indiana, my hometown, for selling counterfeit prescription pills laced with fentanyl over social media that caused at least three poisonings and the death of a 19-year-old woman in 2022. Last fall, a federal grand jury indicted another man in Evansville who sold fentanyl pills in 2021 that ended up killing a three-year-old toddler and resulted in non-fatal poisonings of two other children in a home after they found illicit fentanyl pills in a nightstand and took them. These are heartbreaking stories, and we in this body have the power to do something to help prevent more of them from occurring. Let's pass the HALT Fentanyl Act and give hope to Americans whose family, friends, and loved ones who have been impacted by illicit fentanyl poisonings that their loved one's death was not in vain. Support this bill. I yield back.